Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Ground. So we do have 1.0.4 patch released today, just this afternoon. We're going to break into it and uh, just kind of see what kind of balance changes they've made. It seems to be a lot of weapon and armor mutation stuff, as well as some bug fixes and some crash fixes. We're going to go ahead and jump into it. I don't really think there's anything necessarily that we're going to go ahead and jump into the game and test. I'll test it out later during live streams and during videos, and I'll make sure to point out uh, what was been uh, what was changed with this 1.0.4 uh, patch. 1.0.4 patch. There you go. <clears throat> so let's break into it. Creature cards in the data tab are now sorted by creature tier. So instead of just being random and uh, based on what kind of creatures they are, they're based on tier 1, tier 2, or tier 3, and bosses at the bottom, I'm assuming. We can go ahead and jump in and take a look at that, just to double check. It seems like that's something that shouldn't take too long. All right, so here we're in our data tab. So we're looking at neutral. We got tier one on the left, tier three on the right. So that makes sense for the neutral. We have all the bosses, I'm assuming, at the bottom now. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. So Black Widowling uh, is still above the Black Widow. That, to me, doesn't make any sense. But okay, so now they're broken down left to right, top to bottom uh, in tiers. I guess it makes sense. And uh, the harmless ones have no tears. There still doesn't make sense to me that you have an insect with no tear. But anyway, all right, I digress. Let's go ahead and jump back into the notes here. Uh, the game report card no longer requires mutations to be unlocked for 100% completion, as at least one mutation requires multiplayer to unlock. As far as I know, it's only one mutation that requires multiplayer, right? And that's a reliable friend. I could be mistaken because I have not unlocked all of the other ones, but as far as I know, uh, Wendell, can you calm down? As far as I know, it's Reliable Friend is the only one that uh, requires multiplayer. But I digress, let's get back to the notes here. Creature balance changes. Spiders are no longer immune to poison and instead have a 25-90% poison resistance depending on species and tier. That's interesting to me because if he has spiders that are producing poison and poisoning you, if they're creating poison, they should be immune to the only thing that their body is creating. But I mean, okay. Black Widow being the ex exception, which is still fully immune to poison. Fun fact on the Black Widows, they're annoying. Black Widow no longer immune to venom. Again, doesn't make sense to me. If a Black Widow produces venom, then it should be immune to the same venom that it's producing, but okay. Whatever, so they're making uh, spiders weak to poison and uh, Black Widow weak to venom. Increase the Mant's phase-based damage reduction by 20%. The Mantis is now easier to stun. So, okay, so everybody knows their, the Mantis fight's been pretty difficult just because of the pollen attack, attacking your FPS on your console and your PC. So interesting that they're now trying to make it. It's this is what It seems like they do this all the time. They have something that is way too difficult on one end, so they try to overcompensate and make it too easy. Now you basically get a salty Club of the Mother Demon or Salt Morning Star, and you're going to have that 100% stun, be able to stun the Mantis a lot easier. So relatively making the fight relatively easier item balance changes the tick makohito damage reduced by 10 percent now this is interesting because i figured the lifesteal effect would be something that they reduced the effect on uh from this because the lifesteal you get a ton of uh health back from uh fighting enemies with this thing but the damage reduced by 15 percent that's gonna turn a lot of people off on this because i think a lot of people are actually saying this is the best weapon in the game right now but that's interesting uh widow dagger damage reduced by 10 percent Okay. I only use that for cutting, so interesting. Uh, once I started doing class builds and everything like that again, we'll have to check out the damage on that. Base damage of most poison effects, player and enemy, reduced by about 10%. So 9 to 11%, somewhere around there, I guess. We can't just say 10%. Uh, moving on, Broodmother Club's Apex Predator effect now applies venom instead of poison, so it bypasses immunities and resistances. There you go, Salty uh, Club of the Mother Demon. Uh, if you use the Apex Predator on the Mantis, we'll now apply Venom, and if you use it on the Black Widow, we'll now apply Venom. Nice, Mantis Scythe now costs 25% less stamina to swing. Makes sense, it's a, a lighter two-handed weapon. Black Ox Armor's overbearing effect proc chance with a full set up from 30 to 80%. So that's interesting, because I feel like a lot of the time Black Ox Armor got crapped on. I was one of those people that crapped on it for the uh, the effect and the proc chance. So interesting that they increased it by 15, 50%. Rather. Black Ox Armor set bonus now adds much more stun damage to melee charge attacks. Nice. Broad Smacker increased by 50% damage. Okay. 
Moth armor set range cut affect proc chance of the full set up from 15 to 60 percent. 35 percent chance or 45 percent chance increase there. Uh, effect rescaled from 10 damage per second, 10 DPS for 10 seconds to 20 DPS for 5 seconds. So you're doing twice as amount of damage in half the time. Triple the stun value of the Sour Battle Axe. Okay. B armor's bow stun effectiveness doubled. So we never had an actual percentage on what the bow stun was in the first place. So doubling it, we don't know if that went from 1 to 2% or 10 to 20 or 50 to 100. So interesting. We'll have to try the B armor out again because I feel like B armor is one of the ones that kind of got lost in the mix of uh, the other armors that had uh, better uh, buffs and everything. So we'll check that out. Ladybird Shield's block free attack now applies to all attacks for five seconds instead of clearing on the first attack after it triggers. This is interesting. So now if you're using the Ladybird Shield, you get that block free attack. So what that does is it gives you a free attack after a block uh, to where your, your next attack is not using any stamina. So typically after the first time, after that first attack, it would go away. So now they're telling you for five seconds after you get that block free attack, it applies for five seconds. So you can effectively get in a three hit combo without using any stamina off that. Super useful. Okay, that's gonna be interesting to try out. Compliance badge, base heal reduced from 10 HP to eight HP. Okay, Mantis Streak, it now grants stamina on crit 100% of the time instead of 50% of the time. Okay, Mantis Trinket stamina granted on crit increase from 20 to 50. So you're getting 50 stamina 100% of the time. Okay. Mutation balance changes. Corporate kickbacks 100% lifesteal effect now works on all attacks for five seconds instead of just the first, the first attack. Similar to the later bird shield change here. Natural Explorer speed increase change from 3, 6, and 10% for phase 1, 2, and 3 to 20, 35, and 50. Natural Explorer is useful again. If you have phase 3 of Natural Explorer, now you can throw that on when you're running around the yard and have your movement speed increased by 50%. Natural Explorer is no longer a useless uh, mutation. It's disabled in fighting creatures, that makes sense. Crafting balance changes. All flavored arrows now craft in sacks of 10 for one. Piece of candy and salt, makes sense. Gas of super arrows, craft five to one. Super Venom arrows now craft in 10 to one. Makes sense because Super Venom is kind of hard to come by. So this is good right here for uh, the people that, you're, that are using bows. I mean, it kind of makes it a little bit easier for the people that are using bows all the time and cheese and stuff, but it is what it is. Crash fixes. Uh, no more crashes when you're eating or drinking or charging about magic staff or opening the map screen. That's good stuff. If you guys are going through those issues, hey, they're fixed. Major fixes. Unobtainable mixing rig note has been placed in the yard now for pickup. Game report card now checks the correct number of scabby pickups. I'm saying that right now. It's scabby and yard data. Clients who disconnect or save while incapacitated but not dead will no longer lose their equipment when they rejoin. Important stuff. You'll no longer always go up zip lines, zip lines when interacting with them. I know that's an issue with the uh, Javamatic one. In progress, drag and drop operations are canceled when you die. Bomb arrows now properly deal damage when launched from a fully charged bow shot. Bomb arrows now properly deal damage when under the effect of quick draw. Would make sense. Uh, Waft emitter rage bars properly fill up again. Improved creature navigation issues around the trash biome. I don't know anybody that goes by the trash biome. Upgrading mag magic staves actually increase the damage done from them. So there you go, guys. A lot of balance issues right here, which is really good, uh, mainly for the item balance stuff right here, the weapons and armor. And it's good that now that they're not making new content or rehashing content that they already made for the game, that they can focus on actually playtesting and figuring out what works and what doesn't, what needs to be improved and what needs to be kind of uh, toned down. So it's good that they're actually doing that. So they're listening to the community. They're focusing on trying to make the game better as full release continues to uh, roll out. And uh, I think that's good. So that's all we got for this video, guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Stay original, my friends. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Hey, thanks again for watching, everybody. If you like that video, go ahead and check out one of these videos right here. Thanks. Bye.